boy is a man, please respect the woman in your life. Every boy is taught by his parents, and especially the males in his life, how to treat women. If those role models have poor character, then, the, then that will rub, rub off on the boys and the kids. This is mostly the parents' fault, as they are not teaching the right values to their children. It would not be far from the truth that if a kid grows up in a family where the head of the family is very strict, and his sisters and the mothers has to do all the work home and is not treated fairly, that is what they will become when they become adults. They will think that only their sisters and their spouse and their mother and their daughter, etc. has to do all the housework. That they can treat them the way they want. They will have zero respect for them and oppress them, maybe. It won't stop them from mistreating girls at school or mistreating women at work or in the bus and wherever they see them, they will look down on them like they are less worth than them. Would they have liked it if someone treated someone they loved like that, their sister, their daughter, or their spouse, or their mother? If they behave like that, they don't even know what love is, or what true love is. Imagine, a kid that has grown up with the values of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because his father and the men in his life practiced those values. How do you think that person would treat his mother or his spouse or his sister or daughter? Wouldn't he just cherish them beyond means and be the best to them? Not only to respect them and help them around the house, but also protect them and have a strong feeling of a towards them. You don't need more dayuth in this world. If the kids aren't taught the right values, that would have an impact on them throughout their lives. Of course, it's not always the parents' fault either. Sometimes the parents has done a great job in raising their kids. But the influential environment they are living in, their friends and their surroundings, and bad family friends have bad influence on them. Just to play cool and be liked by the friends, they end up mistreating the same gender of the one that gave birth to them and took care of them when they couldn't do anything by themselves and were helpless. In respect of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu how he taught men to treat the women in their lives, there are several lessons to learn. For instance, the prayer of the mother and the father is near to Allah and answered for the children. That means if you are good to them, they will pray for your good. If you are mean to them, no matter how much they try to control themselves, they will pray, probably, inside their heart against you. And Allah can listen even the supplications in their hearts. So if you shouldn't mistreat your mother, then you are also in respect of the gender. Never mistreat any other girl or woman also. Remember that the prayer of the oppressed is near to Allah. And if you oppress someone, their prayer could ruin your life or worst of all, your hereafter for eternity. There is a hadith where the Messenger of Allah says that if parents, brothers have three or four daughters or sisters and they are good to them and teach them Islam and they practice it, Jannah will be theirs. A girl or woman is a rahmah to the family. They have soft hearts and are more gentle in mind and have more emotional intelligence than men. Think if men had the responsibility of raising the children. It is the nurturing of a woman who raised children that be that the children become good people for the society and for the community. Prophet Muhammad visits the house where there is born a girl. That is truly a blessing also. Another thing is that men have m another thing is that men may have protective aghira towards their own woman. But soon as they see another girl or woman, they would say bad things about her and treat her like trash. Isn't she someone's sister and someone's spouse and someone's mother and someone's daughter? Would you want some people to do the same to your woman or the woman in your life? I reckon your answer is no. Therefore, always know that you should love for your brother what you love for yourself. Just like you have a right to live happy, married and blessed, so does your brother or other people in the community, no matter if they are sisters or brothers. If you want to have all the great things that life has to offer, so does your brothers and sisters.
If you put obstacles in your brothers and sisters' way, then you should be scared of the punishment for that from Allah. No one deserves oppression, not even Pharaoh, to give an extreme example. Allah is just, and Allah will give patience and victory to the oppressed. If you are feeling any sadness because your brother or your sister has been given a blessing, then be patient and be happy for them. He, he or she may have struggled for years for this blessing. Instead of putting obstacle in the way of your brother or sister, be happy for them and pray that Allah grants them more. And you know what? A part of that supplication is for your own self as well. Because an angel by your side will say, And may you have something similar. Amen. So be patient. When your time will come, Allah will grant you abundance, whether you are a sister or a brother. Allah is great, and Allah, and Allah has many blessings to offer. And by giving some blessings to someone does not decrease the blessings you will get. As the saying says, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Just because some of the fishes have gone doesn't mean that we are out of fish. So be happy for each other instead of putting each other down. And remember, if, your brother, if you support your brother or your sister in their time of need, Allah will support you in your time of need. Because as you reap, you shall get.